Hey guys, this is Jim K in 4YCD and you are watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a little project I want to knock out today and I thought I would share it with you guys. I want to make this a portable operating go box for want of a better word. This is a Harbor Freight, I think it's like tool case is what they sell it as. And you can see it's a nice aluminum sided case. I've used this for a couple other things on and off over the years and it currently has no purpose. So today I want to repurpose it. And what I want to do, you can see a little bit of sawdust and whatnot in here. What I want to do is fix the inside of this case so that it can hold my IC706 a tuner and a battery, potentially a solar charge controller and um, extra power pole connection, that kind of thing. I don't have a charge controller at the moment for my solar panel, so we're going to skip that part, but I want to walk you through what the build is going to look like for this box. So stick with me. Let's get started. Okay, so I've taken almost everything out of here, and what we're going to have to do is raise this up so that the radio will sit up a little higher so you can see the faceplate on it and the tuner. And to do that, I have this piece of finished plywood that I'm going to use. And I believe what I'm going to do is use a piece of 2x4. This is to test the, the height. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into uh, four little corners pieces or something here. Just in fasten on these sides so that this whole thing sits flush in there and doesn't move around and it gives us the height we need to see the radio. But first, before I cut anything, I want to test fit this. So let's set our radio up here and see what it looks like. And the lid needs to be able to close as well. The tuner is shorter than the radio, so if the radio fits, we're good. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect. And there might be a little bit of room in there, but that's fine. I can always come back and put a piece of foam in there. And then if we want to use the radio, we can just drop the bale and, and stand the radio up like this. I also have the remote extension cable for this radio, so likely what I will do is not worry about raising the bale. I'll just leave the radio sitting here and I'll disconnect this head unit and use the remote head unit and just pull it out. This will just be to carry everything. And then the idea also is to cut one or two holes in here for routing any wires through just to try and keep all the wires out of this area. And by cutting four small pieces of two by four to sit back here, uh, what I'll do is I'll screw them to the bottom of this board. Then we have some storage space underneath here, room for the wires, room for the extension cord kit, etc., etc. And I'll probably drill a couple of smaller holes uh, probably something like this right here, just to stick fingers in there and pull this plate up a little easier once this thing is sitting in here so you don't have to try and wedge a hand in there. I had this piece already cut from some other project, a leftover. Let me go drill some holes, take some measurements, and we'll go from there. Okay, so what I've done is drilled a pilot hole in each corner, and we're going to put the 2x4 blocks on the underneath side and then drive our screws. And I drilled the pilot hole so it doesn't split out the board. This is a little bit of tear out from the drill bit, but this is going to be on the underside. Nobody's going to see this anyway. So let's get some, let's get some screwing and some drilling done. Okay, so I've got our screws in. Our little platform is built. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to set our radio on here and the tuner. And I'm going to kind of mark where I want to put some holes for the wires to pass through. The radio in here and our tuner, something about like that. Maybe a little further over to center it up. So keep in mind here on the corners we've got our blocks that raise this platform up. So we're looking at something back here on this edge probably and back there. We can actually bring this stuff a little farther forward if we need to. I would say we're going to put a hole, and there's the edge of our block, so we're going to put a hole right about here, and it needs to be about yay big. Actually, we'll just put another one there. 
about the same size. And if you had a router, which I do, but I, it's not set up and I don't want to mess with it, you could do a, a stop cut on this and route out a really beautiful oval or something. But we're going to do it with a Forstner bit and the drill press. So let me get that going and I'll be right back with some results. All right, so we've got our platform in place. I drilled two or three or four holes-ish with the Forstner bit. And uh, then I put this on the sander and uh, kind of smoothed that out a little bit and made it more or less one hole. So there's a place to route our wires. And you, we could have routed them through the back side here. This board is small enough. They could have just come over the back. But either way, we've got a hole to grab the board and pull it out. Or we can, and we can route wires through it, or we can route wires through the backside. Either way works. The battery I have for this is a BioNO 12 amp hour. And the key to making this was that these pieces here needed to be tall enough so that our board would clear the battery and that the board was not resting on the battery. So now we have a nice stable platform. Now it's just a matter of putting the radio in and wiring everything up. So we're going to have our tuner. And he's going to go there. The radio is going to sit here. And you can see, it's kind of hard to see from the camera angle. If I tilt this back a little bit, maybe. The, uh, the radio face is high enough up that you could easily sit here. And again, if you lift the bale up on the bottom of the radio, that raises the whole face up above the edge of this so you don't even have to take the radio out. As I said, I have the separation cable for this, so I'll probably just not even mess with that. I'll probably just hook up everything to the separation cable and set it aside. All right, we've got our power connection here on this cable. And what we need to do is run that underneath. Now, one thing I had mentioned was using that WinCamp bus device that little uh, four port power pole connector and we can still use that but there's not necessarily a need to do that at this point now what I probably will do is run these wires underneath like so and then I want to hook this up and I want to have this up here somewhere where I can see the battery so I'll probably set this back here in the back so I need to make a couple of short jumpers to run from the battery into this and then this will go out to the radio power and I will probably cut this and shorten this wire a whole lot so that's the next steps let's get to it okay what I've decided to do is this I'm gonna cut this cable probably right about here and I'm gonna put power poles on this end power poles on this end this will run to our battery come up and go into our meter out of the meter to the radio with our meter up top without all this wire and the fuse pack up where it's in the way and without having 14 feet of cable in the way. So let's get to that and put some power poles on here. Okay, we've got our power poles on. This is our fused end. This will go to the battery. This will come out to the meter here. The meter is going to go in the middle right here and then to the radio. So we have a meter conveniently up there where we can see battery draw, power output, so on and so forth. All right, so let's get our case and let's start throwing some wires together. Now, one thing I will do besides vacuuming out the sawdust is figure some way to fasten this battery down. This has Velcro here on this, this edge. That's too high to sit in this case, so this battery has to lay sideways like this. What I will probably do is put some more Velcro on this and something there to hold the battery in place. But for now, this is more of a proof of concept than anything else. So we can hook up our fuse connection to the battery. This end will come up through our wiring hole. 
and we want to move that battery out of the way of the wiring hole like so. Now we can add in the junction if we want and then we have three connections. I'll probably put the junction in the box and leave it but for now I'm not going to mess with it. Here is our um, power meter. And this is designed to go to the source. These two aren't connected. So let me fasten these two little fellas together. These are probably not together because I got irritated trying to put them together. Some of these go together a lot easier than others. All right. So there is our meter hooked up. Now the only downside to this that I just realized is that this is causing current draw. And this meter is apparently broken. This is the one I smoked in another video. So I'll have to replace that and find a different one. For now it doesn't matter. We're still fused. The radio is still going to go here. We'll plug him in like that. And now he's got power and we can tuck all the power wire out of the way where it's not going to get pinched by the case lid or anything else. We've got our tuner right there. I will probably find some shorter cables, but for now this will work. And so this is for our antenna there. That is the transmit lead that goes to the radio. And on the 706, the top connector is HF and the bottom connector is our two meter. So if you do something like this, make sure you know what connector you're plugging your tuner into. And this is a good place to put the uh, wire right there. Look at that. That's almost like I planned that. Not a plan, I guarantee you. So now we have that connected up. Because of the wires, that'll keep this stuff from sliding around. The battery's got enough force on it. It's not going to slide around. I will probably just include that in the box. So if we need to hook up power. And remember, this is running on four AA batteries. This has also got a cable I could use to uh, run this off of 12 volt power poles. So I've got backup power for it if I need it. Okay, so as you can see, we have everything in here that we really need. We have a spare connection for sharing the power if we need to with several other devices. We've got our antenna. We can easily coil up 25 or 30 feet of coax. Just lay it right here on top or underneath. There's room underneath this platform for storing coax. This isn't a box you're going to necessarily just, you know, pop a lid and plug in. I didn't really think about it that way because I want to be able to dissipate heat off this radio. I'm not going to be operating this thing with the lid closed. So there's no point in drilling holes in the side for antenna connections to pass through the container. That's what I got for today. Guys, the rumor has it that while I'm in Huntsville in two weeks, I will be doing a POTA for Montesano at least one day. So if you are around, you should look for KN4YCD to be doing a Montesano POTA soda. Give me a call. Let's make a contact. Y'all, that's all I've got for today. Make sure you've shared. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. Thanks, you guys. 73.